Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jamicia Capri V, nurse practitioner extraordinaire. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're already subscribed, welcome back guys. Today I wanna to talk about intermittent fasting. One of my listeners put a comment in one of my videos to talk about intermittent fasting as a fad. And I wanna talk about that today. If you are interested in that, stay tuned. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jamisia Capri, the nurse practitioner extraordinaire. And today we're gonna to talk about intermittent fasting. And you guys know that I actually love intermittent fasting. I started intermittent fasting um, several years ago when my cholesterol was going through the roof. I was close to 200 pounds. I pretty much was miserable. I was having trouble with mental clarity, with focus with my eating, all of those things. And so I embarked on this journey. I started with several different diets, military diet, cabbage soup diet, all of these things working out and nothing really stuck. Although I'm gonna tell you the truth though, um, <clears throat> the military diet, it does work. It's a quick, a quick fix. It helps you lose some weight. The cabbage soup diet, it worked too quick fix, fix, but it was not sustainable. It wasn't something that um, lasted. But it is a tool that you can use to get you jump started into something. But those two types of diets are definitely a fad. They are. Whereas intermittent fasting is not a fad. It is definitely a lifestyle. And for me, it has been my lifestyle. And <clears throat> one of my listeners wanted me to talk about that today. So that's what I'm doing. Basically, it to me, it's definitely the real deal because it's what I use. It's the go-to thing that my company is built on, which is um, intermittent fasting and mindset coaching and all of those things. So... That's what we're gonna talk about basically. I pretty much use intermittent fasting on a daily basis. Now, like I said, it's not a magical potion. It is not. It is something that you can do and sustain for a lifestyle. It's something that um, I've used, like I said, for several years. And if you're thinking about intermittent fasting and you have not tried it, you should try it and check out some of my videos that I've already done on intermittent fasting because um, I'm sure you'll you'll enjoy that. So I use intermittent fasting for several things. And I'm gonna talk about a couple of those things that I think are really important when you think about in intermittent fasting for the long haul. So number one, I use it for focus, to focus my mind. And when I say that, it's to the point where I can tell that if I'm overeating, if I'm eating too much, and if I'm bogged down with food, my focus is off. When you are um, intermittent fasting and you're not eating as much, your body has the opportunity to focus on digesting, uh, not just digesting food, but focus on being more focused. <laughs> if that if that makes sense, your your body can 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 uh, function, and your energy is focused elsewhere. Right when you are fasting, you are giving your body the opportunity to use its own fat stores for energy, and that's pretty much how that works. Um, and yes, I use it for weight management. It's it's an effortless tool for weight management, especially for women who are in their 50s like myself. So when I say effortless, it's not something that I have to um, worry about whether I'm prepping a certain way or I'm working out extraneously or anything like that. No, with intermittent fasting, if you know how to do it the correct way, and like I said, I have several videos on my channel about how to start it and do it the correct way. But if you do it in the correct way, then your body is uh, effortlessly using fat 
for energy and keeping you uh, within a certain weight range, okay? So that also. And the good thing, another good thing about intermittent fasting, it keeps your insulin in check. And when I say that, I mean this. When you are without food for an extended period of time, your body does not produce insulin. And when your body starts to produce insulin, then you no longer use the fat that's in your body to fuel you and burn for energy. Again, I have several videos that talk about it, but that's the gist of intermittent fasting. It's not a fad. It's really naturally how our bodies function. Way back in the day, our ancestors fasted all the time because that was their lifestyle. They didn't eat three meals a day and two snacks in between. No. Or three snacks in between. No. There was a lot of fasting uh, done back in the day. So I'll tell you some practical things that you can do in order to not use intermittent fasting as a fad because for some people it is, right? For some people it is fad. They they try it, they've done it, they 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 don't they let it go. Then they try it, they do it, they let it go. They try it, they do it, they let it go, whatever. But in order for it to work, in order for you to be able to use it for a lifetime and as a lifestyle, there are a couple tips I want to give you from this video and and I'll say I'll I'll give you like four of them or whatever. So, number 1 with anything, you want to make sure that you are being very gentle with yourself, that you are starting slow and that you do your research and see if this is something that works for you. Meaning um when I say start slow with intermittent fasting, there are different eating schedules that you can be on. And when I initially started, I started on um, the schedule of 16 and 8. And most people do 16 and 8, which means you're fasting for 16 hours and you have yourself a window to eat for eight hours during the day, every day. So you want to do that. And then the other thing with intermittent fasting, you want to make sure that you are staying very well hydrated. You want to make sure you're drinking enough water. And enough water for me is at least a gallon, at least. But most of the time, people can um, drink their um, body weight or something like body weight in gallons. No, no, in, in ounces. Sorry, body weight in ounces. Um, but I do a gallon. Stay hydrated that way. That way. And you don't have to drink all of the water. You can eat it. You can have it in your fruits. You can have it in your vegetables. Um, you can do teas, of course, herbal teas and, and black coffee. You can do it that way too. So stay hydrated. Uh, uh, I don't know about black coffee so much now that I said that because that's a diuretic. So eh, don't worry about that. Don't do that. Just just your, your water, your fruits and all of that and their herbal teas. Stay hydrated. Also, balance nutrition. When you get ready to break your fast, make sure it's it's balanced. Make sure you have enough good fat, uh, protein, and a nice vegetable, okay, when you break your fast. So make sure your 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 meals are balanced meals. Don't ha go fasting and then do something just horrible with your diet when you're when you're ready to eat within your eight hour window, okay? So that's another thing. And the final thing, um, not well. I'm gonna add a little bit at the end. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this. <sighs> Mindset for sure. You know, you have to look at what you're doing as something positive. You can't look at it as a, a fad. You have to decide that this is going to be um, a lifestyle that you that you want to stick with and a lifestyle that's good for you if it's good for you. Okay. And then the last thing I'm going to say, which is a bonus uh, with intermittent fasting, it's sleep. And this can be um, a powerful tool as well. 
So with sleep, you want to make sure you're getting enough sleep to keep your stress levels down, to keep your cortisol levels down um, in order for intermittent fasting to work best for you. Now, here's the caveat with the sleep. If you start intermittent fasting and you're going hardcore and you're going too hard and you're not being gentle with your body and with yourself and you find that you are not sleeping well, then you're going too hard too fast because when you're having insomnia with intermittent fasting, then it's not doing good for you. So you may have to figure out a better schedule or intermittent fasting might not be for you. So again, so pay attention to your sleep. Once you start intermittent fasting, if by chance you start to have problems sleeping, pull back on um, or open up your window a little bit wider. So you might be overdoing it. And when I say overdoing it, you might get to the point where you're fasting longer where you're fasting, say, for, I don't know, 20 hours of the day. If 20 hours of the day fasting keeps you up at night, you might not want to do 20 hours. You want to go to a different schedule. Um, so just play around with your intermittent fasting schedule. But believe me, intermittent fasting is not a fad. It is definitely a lifestyle. And it's a lifestyle that is sustainable, it's healthy, and it's awesome. So I love it. I hope that you try it. Thank you for tuning in to this particular video today. If you like this video, like the video, subscribe to my channel, send my video out to somebody who might uh, benefit from it, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.